In this video I'm going to show you how to tie the constrictor knot. The constrictor knot is an excellent attachment knot to slippery cords and slippery surfaces. I will explain in the end of the video the problems with this knot and also the options. What you do is you start with your running end and you loop it over your pole here and then you wrap around and what you're going to do is you want to create an X here with the rope and you're going to need a little bit more you always want a little bit more here so you create this nice X and then what you're going to do is take the running end loop it over the standing part and then on the X you're going to pass the rope or the line under both loops on this side so you're going to pass it under both loops on this side so you can see the structure of the knot here and then you begin tightening it up and this knot will self constrict here no matter how tight you pull on it with this thin slippery cord on PVC or other slick surfaces it will not give it is the ultimate gripper knot it is way more powerful than the clove hitch I will show you now how to tie it on the opposite direction if you're left-handed. So again, you take the line here, you loop it over, and then you come over again to create this nice X here. All right, and then you come over this side, and it doesn't matter which way you go, this is a self-symmetric knot. You cross over with the running end, and then you loop it under this one and this one. So you go under one, two, there we go. And then you simply tighten here and voila, you've got the constrictor knot. The constrictor knot is difficult to inspect. It looks really pretty screwy, but once you get it tied correctly, it's incredibly strong. So cannot recommend the constrictor knot enough. Now the downsides of this knot, as I talk about in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, is there's a discussion here about the constrictor knots, its usage, and the problems with it. You can see here that you can see everything very clearly. And also there's an option to create a removable loop. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So I will demonstrate the quick release method. You come around here. You're going to need quite a bit of line. You loop around, right? You go over and what you're going to do is create a bite with this end. And then you pass this bite under here. And what you do is with this bite, you begin pulling it and you'll create a nice constrictor knot. It is not as strong because it's got this double line here, but it's very easy to remove. So definitely an option for you. As you can see, the constrictor knot is an incredible knot. It's more complex to tie than the clove hitch, but with slippery rope, synthetic rope like 550 paracord and slippery surfaces like poles and PVC pipe, the constrictor knot is a vastly superior knot to use to attach a cord to a round slippery surface. The big detriment, this is incredibly difficult to take off. Once you tighten this thing, you can actually use this as a pipe clamp. I mean, this thing is crazy compressive. And the more you pull, the more it constricts. If you tie this too tight around a compressible object, chances are you're going to need to cut the knot. And that is a big factor in how making the constrictor knot is wonderful, but a challenge. Again, featured in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know. You can see right here, a very clear photos. Unlike my competitors who have blurry photos or questionable illustrations, it's easy to figure out how to use my book. And also all the knots are listed alphabetically 
so it's easy for you to find everything you need rather than guessing what I was thinking at the time because I bet you know the alphabet. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description below to my books. Antarctic Tears, Lost at Winnie Corner Adventure Expedition 1. The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, How Do You Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold? 50 Photography Hotspots in Jackson Hole, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my show Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.